Good morning, gurus. Welcome to another sunrise. I hope you're having a beautiful day. We're going to jump into the charts for Bitcoin, Ethereum. Bitcoin is pulling back like I thought. That's why I moved into cash to mainly have cash available to buy any massive red drops or red days. I think the time to buy Bitcoin was 2022 when we were buying it at 16K if you're following my videos. By the way, it's almost been four years of me making everyday videos, which is amazing. We're going to jump into charts for Bitcoin, Ethereum. I'm mainly in cash right now and I'm going to buy extreme red dips. My goal is to multiply my portfolio, multiply my cash exponentially. How I do that is I trade Bitcoin, stocks, Tesla, Google. If you followed my videos from last year, we're buying Google, Tesla, Bitcoin at the bottom of the markets, Meta. Now, recently, I sold um, Google, Meta, Bitcoin, and now I'm starting to move into Tesla because I think that's quite oversold. So what you're seeing me do is I'm moving my money around from what is overbought, too high, too high valuation into what is oversold, too low, too low valuation for what it is for the long term. And I keep doing that over and over. So I'm trading, but I'm long term investing. My main two things that made me rich are Tesla and Bitcoin. Tesla and Bitcoin, I am always buying and I'm always selling. What that means is when Bitcoin was at 16K, I was buying. When it hit 70K, I was selling. When Tesla was at $50, I was buying. When it was at $600, I was selling. Now I'm buying Tesla and I'm selling Bitcoin and I'm moving into Tesla more. I still hold Bitcoin and I still actively trade it. But now the time again, the time to buy Bitcoin doesn't matter what anyone wants to tell me. It's not after it's up 700% from the bottom. The time to buy Bitcoin was when it was $16,000 and no one wanted to buy it. I still think we've got room to run, but the meat of the move is finished. 700% is amazing. If you want more than that, you're a greedy gambler. If you know anything about investing and you're learning, 700% is about 70 is about 100 years of traditional finance investment growth. 7% a year is considered good in traditional finance. If you have a million dollars in invested accounts, that means you're getting $70,000 a year to li live without touching the principal if it's 7%. Getting 700% in a year is the equivalent of your $1 million turning into $7 million in one year. So w a lot of my viewers and a lot of the people in cryptocurrency seem to think and have come to expect this which is amazing because my goal is abundance for hit the subscribe button smash up thumbs up button turn on the bell let's jump into technicals for bitcoin now oh, and i'm shirtless because i was just swimming everyone and sunrise on the beach doing exercise stretching swimming it's very beautiful I have, i'm so blessed i get to help a lot of you and because of that i'm the i think one of the most blessed people that has ever lived and i'm so thankful for my gifts um so bitcoin 63,400, big drop from yesterday. See, this is what I said about being careful yesterday. A lot of people bought that bounce and got very bullish here. And a lot of the buying was coming here. What I've noticed, everyone, is the whales are playing with us now. Everyone, whoever bought up Bitcoin out during 16K, it was us buying Bitcoin at 16K, but there was big, big funds buying Bitcoin at 16K. I'll show you proof of that. This is the volume you're seeing now on Bitcoin when it's at 63K, right? Look at the volume on Bitcoin when it was at 16K. Wait, you got to zoom out to see the difference. Notice the difference? This is when Bitcoin was at 16K. <clears throat> Look how much volume is buying Bitcoin here. So this is when Bitcoin is now. So it's less. So even though we're reaching all new highs, all time highs, there's less volume buying Bitcoin now than it was during the, the, the 16K. It's still going up. Volume predicts price and we're still having volume climb on Bitcoin. Not like the 2021 bull market where volume dropped off. Volume is climbing on Bitcoin. It's coming down to the bottom of this channel and I think we're going to get a bounce here. But the main real price of Bitcoin, in my opinion, has been shown to us countless times. The real price of Bitcoin is $59,000. How do I know? Because when we had that big sell-off in March, where did Bitcoin go? Where did it bounce on? It bounced off 59,000. When we had this other big sell-off um, in middle of March, it came to 60,000. The, the last few days, it bounced off 59,000. So the actual spot price of Bitcoin right now is 59,000. But I wouldn't call that a support. The real support on Bitcoin is here. This is the main area of support on Bitcoin at 52,000. This is a really, really strong area of support. Why? All these touches and resistances that Bitcoin has been going through for the last three years all reside on this $52,000 line. You can see here in the 2021 bull market, 
you can see it double uh, the the shoulders of this head and shoulders in the 2021 top bull market you can see that this 52k line you can see here bitcoin came down found heavy resistance trying to break through that's the real support on bitcoin <coughs> 59k and 52k now what do i expect bitcoin to do i still think we're in the second to third um we're still in the elliott wave count now we're in the third to fourth corrective wave and after this dumps it showed me that this third to fourth corrective wave is not finished do we triple bottom at 50, at 59 i think so i think we're going to triple bottom at 59 52 is where super strong support is so there is where you want to try to if bitcoin manages to come down here this is where i want to accumulate a lot this is my main area of accum accumulation so let's always use the green bright green lines as my main area of accumulation this is where i want to buy the red lines are going to be um the blue lines are supports and the red lines are resistances moving up so red lines are resistances where we're going to have resistance blue lines are supports green line is where i think i want to buy where i want to try and buy more now what can happen here on bitcoin going into the halving the thing is why i'm worried about this halving and what's happening is bitcoin is not pumping going into the halving we're two days away from the halving and bitcoin is not pumping it's dropping Usually it's buy the rumor, sell before the news because the, the rumor, the buildup, the anticipation, everyone talking about it on social networks, the price is pumping, Coinbase releasing commercials saying that it's going to be, Bitcoin is going to go up, which is, which is quite interesting. But there is this thing that I want to show you. And I talked about this quite a few times. This is Bitcoin. This is the halvings. Now the halvings actually moved to the 20th of April, 19th of April. These are the halvings. And you can see here that on all the halvings, the previous ones, you see the 2016 halving, you see the 2020 halving. This is the price of Bitcoin. This is the 2024 halving. So this is the 2016 halving. This is the 2020 halving. This is the 2000 today, 2024 halving or tomorrow or 18th. And you can see in the 2016 halving from when Bitcoin halved, what happened after Bitcoin had the halving? It dropped. You can see Bitcoin dropped from the, the time of the halving, from the peak before the halving. Bitcoin dropped around 41% after the halving. 41%. And then from there, it had 518 days before it reached the top of the bull market. And then it was pretty much after that drop, it was just straight up almost for 518 days. Some one big red candle month but the rest was almost completely up for 519 days let's forward to the 2020 halving what happened after the halving bitcoin pumped it it had it actually it moved sideways for two months after the halving it it pumped and then it dropped so it after the halving in february in may 2020 it went from the total market cap from 191 billion to 160 billion so it dropped like very small percentage, 7% or something. Then it went for 580 days till the top of the bull market. Now this is the halving now. And you can see we've already dropped going into the halving. You can also see that that blue line at 1.1 trillion is the major area of support, which is what I was talking about. Actually, here is... So what's going to happen after this halving? 548 days is October 2025. It's actually 500. The other ones were 579 days, and the first one was 518 days. So I, I averaged it. It's around 548 days. And that, if we move up that target of 290%, same like if you look after the bull market, it moved 290% up the price of Bitcoin to the next bull market top. If that plays out again till this bull market top, that's 5.49 trillion or 255,000 per Bitcoin. But the question is how much is Bitcoin going to drop after this halving or where is the time to enter? And in my opinion, you can see that Bitcoin is, let me pull up the charts, the normal charts again. Bitcoin is forming a symmetrical triangle. It's a big one, but it is not confirmed the best point to buy is 52k where a strong bounce will happen and could be a triple bottom is 59k here so that's where i'll take a long on bitcoin that's where i'm already long in bitcoin but that's where i'm going to add to my long but again the time to be heavy bitcoin is going to be at 52k the time to be really heavy into bitcoin was at 16k when you if you're watching my videos last year when we were buying bitcoin 
that was the time to go heavy Bitcoin when it made this inverse head and shoulders. Who remembers when I talked about this inverse head and shoulders? Let me know in the comments. It's been, it feels like so long ago, but it's, it's really only been, I would say like one year. Quite interesting. One year and made 700% off so much gains. So that's where I go long on Bitcoin opening 59,820 stop loss 59,200 take profit 88k and next target is 115k which will be going into that bull market I talked about. Um, this is a bounce trade so this will be actually I would just take this purely for the bounce to be honest because I think Bitcoin is going to have after the halving, I think we will have a correction because we're not getting a pump going into the halving, which is quite interesting. So this is a trade I'll take on Bitcoin. Opening 59,820, um, 59, stop loss 59,207. Gray line is where my trade opens. Red line is the stop loss. Take profit 81K, but I would move it up to 88K here. Risk reward 46 times, risking $612 to make $28,600 per Bitcoin. With 10x leverage, $280,000. That's a trade I'll take on Bitcoin. And I'm going to modify my trades now. I want to buy more Bitcoin at 52K and I want to buy at 59K. What do I think is cheap? In the entire market right now, um, Pocket I like, but it's already gone up also 700%. Like if you look at it, Pocket's already from the bottom up 645% from the bottom of the bear market, you know? So it's like now what I'm trying to do is buy super dips, but it's still up 700% after this massive dip on Pocket. Main support on pocket is the green line where I'm gonna I'm gonna put green lines where I think that I can buy. Pocket could even come down to really like the major there is a big support at 12 where it came down, but major support I would say is even down here. Nine easy after 700 percent So nine zero point zero nine is great place to buy. So I'm gonna put big buy order. This is my buy bid account. In here I've got six hundred and seventeen thousand. I've got a Bitcoin trade down two hundred and fifty-nine dollars. It's one Bitcoin trade. I deleveraged before during these drops my account in the last 90 days went from 476,000 to 618 it reached 920,000 at the peak um, but on the drops I lost like the last few weeks I lost around 200 it's down not lost 250k down where I want to buy more pockets so I've got buy orders on pocket you can see here at 12 cents and I want I'm going to buy 200,000 pocket and I want to buy more at nine cents if it ever manages to spike down there and remember everyone that says you can't you can always buy things at prices you don't expect so i'm going to buy a twenty thousand dollar pocket twenty thousand dollars a pocket at 0 0.09 what else do i think is cheap um Particia just released i seed invested Particia, so i'm already invested in it at the launch of the token um iota I'm not following the project too much, but it got hit pretty hard. Worldcoin yesterday, it's like fluctuating so much. Sam Altman's coin, the founder of OpenAI, it went up all the way to $12. Then this bear market, like big correction, all the way down to $3.60. So $3.60 was where it bounced, and that's a buy line. Real so the major area of support, I would say, is lower though. I would say the main area of support is here at $2. If you really want to go, what's the strongest area of support? here two dollars seventy is my buy area of world and i've got buy orders at two dollars eighty and three dollars sixty so i already set that um and this is how I, my mindset when it comes to this that was my bitcoin trade let's go into ethereum uh, but i don't want to buy ethereum right now i can trade ethereum but the time to buy and it's hard to go leverage long on ethereum now unless you see like on a massive pullback because the time to buy ethereum was at seven hundred dollars when we were covering it last year it got down to 895 Now at $3,000, even though you think you're getting a really good trade and entry price, it's still up from that bottom massively. Like you're still talking, we're still up on Ethereum. Two hundred and forty-nine percent. They found major support on two seven nine five, but real area of support on Ethereum, the strongest area of support on Ethereum, and Ethereum is super underperforming, by the way, in this bull market. I would be worried about to be honest, I don't like the fees of Ethereum. I think it's just used for swaps. A lot of people now are focusing on Solana. I think the interest on Ethereum a bit waning. But super strong support, I would say, is here. That's one major area of support. I wouldn't say that's the strongest. I would say the strongest area of support on Ethereum is here. 2505. If you get lucky and there's another Bitcoin dump like we had the other day where Ethereum dropped from 3,700 
to 2,800, and that liquidated my trade actually, is to try and get a long, this is a good area to catch a long, to try and come back to the highs. But again, not my favorite token. It's already up a lot. To be honest, everything in this market is like up a lot. What showed strength during... The okay, guys, that was a long video. Thank you for watching. Underneath the video, go down below. Um, you can uh, trade as you see me do using Bybit. $30,000 bonus when you trade and meet their requirements. Two is the courses. Take the Crypto Master course to learn TA. Three, join us in Telegram. Um, my goal now, and in the Telegram, you can see there's 134 of you online. People talking about bear flag. I also agree. I think it's dangerous in my opinion. Bitcoin should have pumped going into the, into the, um, and you can just see everyone discussing in the telegram. Bitcoin should have pumped going into the, into the halving. So that's why I'm a bit worried. I'm going to go enjoy the rest of my sunrise right now. My goal right now really is to buy Tesla and Google and altcoins that are low and to buy altcoins on massive pullbacks. I'm not so much buying Bitcoin, Ethereum, um, these kind of things that are already up 700%. Google is still okay, but it's already up. We were buying Google at $80. It's now like, I don't know. Meta, we were buying $80. It's now 500 and something dollars. Um, Tesla, we were buying... Like, Tesla's the only one that I think is quite oversold at the moment. So I'm going to be buying it on big dips. But 141 is my target. I'm going to make a video in the future. Comment down below. Thank you for watching. Hit the subscribe button. Smash up thumbs up button. And turn on the bell. Love you all. Have an amazing day. And I'll see you all again tomorrow.